Hi guys, so, after being up all night with stomach issues, I just wake up, I check my phone, and see Antonio Brown was released by the Raiders. Now, I have not been making videos for you guys, I have not been doing anything for a while for over a month maybe a month and a half maybe two months but I have to tell you I, I good for the Raiders good for John Gruden uh, definitely good for the team I was skeptical I really was after the fiasco that he had in Tampa Bay all those years ago. And I know a lot of you, a lot of my audience is not old enough to remember that. Um, he, he went to war with Keyshawn Johnson, like to the point where Keyshawn did not want to be there. Um, he traded him away to, to the Jets, but that was a big sticking point to the point because if you guys watch football back then you have to remember Keyshawn was one of the biggest receivers back then one of the biggest so the fact that he actually stood by everything that him and Mayock said that this team was about in hard knocks that they wanted they wanted character guys so he stood up and after everything that happened they released Antonio Brown good for you props for standing up for what you believe in John Gruden props um you can you can believe what you guys want. They didn't want him. They wanted out of the, the fifty six million over two years. Um whatever. My thoughts. John Gruden is a football guy. For whatever you want to believe about him, because he, he's a TV guy, he's a color commentator. He was a football guy first. He was a short fucking quarterback. He was a great, innovative coach before the likes of Sean McVay. I mean, you, you got you to gotta remember, there would be no Sean McVay without, without John Gruden. Think about that. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really glad that, that he stood up and, and he walked his walk. You don't want to be here. You don't want to play football. You want to make this shit about you. Bye bye. Props. Props for standing by your GM, who you have more control than than he does, right? You have more control than than a GM, John Gruden, and you stood up and and you said it's about the team. It's not about the win. That. Might not pay off right now. That might not pay off this year. But it will pay off. Because of the culture that you're putting in place. Props. Um, so, guys. What do you guys think? Uh, leave your comments down below. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Tell me where you think Antonio Brown is going to go. Uh, on, on that note... Um, if it was me, if I was in the position of every single one of, of the, the owners and the, the GMs in the league, Antonio wouldn't play this year. I would send him a message. This shit does not fly. You pulled this in Pittsburgh. We covered up a lot. You pulled this in Oakland. No. No more. This is beyond... T.O., this is beyond Chad, this is beyond any diva wide receiver.
that you've seen in the league. And honestly, I've heard a lot of people blame Big Ben because of his diva antics when Antonio got there. So when Antonio got his money, he was like, I can get away with two. I believe it. But uh, props to the Raiders. Props to John Gruden. Um, eh, his comments weren't here nor there. Uh, I would be most offended by him punting that fucking ball behind my head if I was Mike Mayock. I mean, being called a cracker, growing up in L.A., I've been called a cracker all my life. It doesn't mean shit. But, uh, yeah, you punt a ball by my fucking head, we're going to fight. And I believe, and Mike Mayock, I believe he's the type of guy that would, would fucking fight. So, regardless of how old he is. Uh, so, props to you guys. Um, leave a like on the video, guys. Let me know down below what you guys think about this development. And, um, yeah, y'all have a wonderful day or night wherever you may live. Please be safe. Peace.